Morning everybody, welcome to another Quick Hit Review. It is the 13th of May 2019. Uh, we have just a small amount of news out today, which is this on the Swissy, uh, a monetary policy at 8.30 and I think 9 o'clock. Nothing really to be um, that bothered about, if I'm honest with you. Um, apart from that, it's fairly clear sailing. First of all, apologies, I wasn't able to get one of these Quick Hit Review videos out yesterday. I've been working on the website. Just so you're aware, I have a launch date for the website for free Forex education. It is going to be Monday. That's this Monday. And uh, what date is that? We are the 13th today. So that's going to be the uh, 17th. The site is almost finished right now. We've got a few bugs just to iron out. And then the launch date will be Monday. I will do a YouTube video just advising everybody that it's that it's launched and you can go ahead there and register for free so i've got nine currency pairs uh, that i'm looking at again it's a watch list these are not trades that i will actively get in unless it provides entry signals so a lot of trades over the past two weeks guys where are projected big moves and they've all come off and i've not been involved in any of them instead i've been involved in uh still quite a few losses still hitting the drawdown if i'm completely honest with you which is a bit of a sickener because you you know uh, multiple multiple uh, projections going on to hit targets and in the area where you thought think they would turn around and they've come off just never gave me an entry and i'm just instead taking a few trades here and there that are just losing so let's start off anyway with the aussie dollar cad so we got our move, our head and shoulders that never turned into a head and shoulders. We came down for the complete retest down here. Now, this is a decision point. We are down within the wicks. My personal opinion is that we are going to come to this lower level. So I am expe expecting a breakout. Sorry about that, particularly with this setup, set up a directional run, a pullback. When we start to see directional runs and pullbacks to a 382, typically it's a sign of trend continuation, uh, particularly since there's room to go lower. So I am expecting a breakout here. Let's go down to the 240. Um, in saying that here on the 240, if we were to get a reversal, okay, so first of all, we need to not close below the wicks, this lower level of structure. If we were to get an initial structure high and a pullback, well, we have a head and shoulders. So uh, this is really a decision point, but my bias is that we are going to violate this level. Until that happens though, I do nothing. If we drop down to the 60, I've got nothing here to be honest. Let's go down to the 240. Uh, this, I'm gonna have to change that shortcut key, it's F1. It keeps doing that. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be looking at here. I'm going to be looking for the market to violate to the downside like this. Uh, I think that we can violate and get a pullback. I will be highlighting the wicks just here on the 240. Then I'll be dropping down to the 60 and I'll show you why I'm going to be doing that. And here on the 60, I'm then going to be looking for that pullback to this wicked area because we have a psychological number that 9200 I'm going to be looking for that double top or a head and shoulders and a chance to ride it down first target a retest of the lows and secondary targets uh, you guessed it is going to be this lower trend line right down here so that's what I'm going to be monitoring Aussie, do Aussie dollar USD AB equals CD pattern double top nope double bottom so uh, we're still getting the reaction we talked about. This was another one where I said, pay close attention to the wicks just here. We came into it and we are now seeing that move lower. Let's go to the 240. Uh, I spoke fact, just let me go and show you this because um, some people's data is different and this was not valid for them. But for me it was, and I said, if we highlight the wicks just here, drop down to the 240 we had a valid double top just look put a structure level on just there this double top was valid now I know some people's data I've been talking to has been different for me this was valid and we had a confirmed break below close below 
I told you I'm going to be looking for a 2618 pull back to that 61.8 fib we never got it guys and now we've come down to retest this lower level of structure um, however um, if your bias is still short there is no reason why we can't look for a violation of this structure level and a continuation let's drop down to the 15 uh, you could you could I don't think I would but you could look for oh we had an AB equals CD pattern this is it okay AB equals CD pattern this is what I'm looking for so AB equals CD pattern structure level on at where price came to let's look left comes right into this decent level excuse me decent level of structure resistance support 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 excuse me support 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 decent area here to look for a double bottom let's go and have a look can we validate the double bottom in any way well yes we can the first thing we need to do is look at the RSI we are massively oversold and right now we have divergence we are looking for our second test here I'll be looking at the market coming down holding and then I'll be playing for fib space targets just before we do that do we have any other confirmation here at all um, well we have that psychological number 9600 great place to hide stops behind do we have any fibs no inversion uh, you get a 1618 extension there nothing major for me to be honest with you uh, this is a fibs based pattern so I will be playing for fibs based targets uh, you can play for the 382 or the 61.8 uh, I think for me personally I'm just going to be playing for the 382 I'm not dead sure how much um, because we are quite bearish here we could still continue lower so you'll get your entry round about here stops going 80 hour below the low well that's only four so I'm going to want to be five pips underneath that psychological number it is a great place to offer uh, some protection and if we're looking at targets well that 382 does not come into the outside return so I'm actually going to be playing for a little bit past it so I'm going to make that dark green see the outside return here it's it doesn't come into the 382 which is unusual um, but it just means that we can get a slightly better reward to risk on that trade let's go and take a look at the euro yen the head and shoulders and the trend continuation um, okay so first of all you have an entry right now move low lower outside return move lower outside return move lower outside return this is your outside return we have a second chance entry so within the here we have a lower low lower close um, pay attention to though we are within the wicks okay if you were taking this trade I would I would be playing certainly for a retest of the lows and hold for secondary targets uh, you're only pretty much getting a one-to-one -one at the minute I think so you're looking at an ATR above the high which is 65 watts okay <laughs> and a reward of around this much so you have an inverse reward to risk and it's well over my max anyway uh, we're looking at something like yeah <laughs> 204 pips so it's a potential let's drop down to the 240 looking for more conservative entries now you do have one I've been talking for the last week about this AB equals CD pattern and I think this was the currency pair where I said it came in in the middle of no man's land um, yeah it came into here and there was absolutely no structure looking left however we have pushed a little higher and what's happened now is if I drop down to the 60 you'll see that we formed this head and shoulders and it's looking like this so this is the left shoulder we made a new high for the head and we've then violated to the downside uh, we have already now hit fib based targets just there at the 382 however 
uh, this does look as though it has legs to come a lot lower and I would still treat this as a trend trade or a head and shoulders so we had a pullback we had to move higher this was the right shoulder you can look at it like that we then had a move higher we had this small area of consolidation and we've had a move lower and so we've come into that area of consolidation so this could offer quite a small amount of risk and uh, potentially trail your targets all the way down to retest the lows here yeah I mean you've had that lower low lower close on the dailies um, I would be playing 10 pips above that 121 psychological number so let's just go back to the 15 uh, maybe an entry on market actually let me go back to the 60 so this is the area that I want to pay attention to the outside return let's highlight the wicks we've come into those let's drop to the 15 look at that you do have a retest here but no double bottom let's just drop to the five look at that we have three tests of this area uh, no RSI confirmation no we do have is this a valid flag flags we can get the retest before the breakouts I need to draw this out properly that was there okay so that's the closes of the candles just along the bottom let's draw this out Ooh, look at that it is valid one two three four we've come up into our kill zone 786 we've triple tested up here and we've now broken out the channel we've got room to come lower one second guys okay I'm involved in this trade so we've had a fairly directional move just here um, we had that triple test let me go back to the five actually so here on the five uh, we've broken out the channel so uh, trend continuation as well playing for that 127 fib and also playing for the bigger extension down at 121.10 in terms of the risk and reward we're looking at well I've actually gone 10 pips above the high here so just 14 I'm going to give that a couple more it's only a small amount of risk here and the reward is quite big and going to be looking for that 127 extension at 29 and then holding for those bigger targets down at a hundred and thirty okay moving on euro dollar we have a back pattern setting up uh, back pattern is looking like this x to x to a a to b b to c c d completion at the 886 looking like this we're not quite down in that zone yet uh, what's price doing here we've got a fair, fairly directional move and we've got the market adhering to some form of pattern do we hit a 382 nope let's go and check out the 15 looking like we have a channel there in the 15 we may get a break to the downside here keep an eye on that uh, Euro New Zealand potential flag uh, Euro New Zealand okay we were looking for a counter move up in this area this is the very highs just here you can see we've now come into that zone and we've actually held it we held it no we've not we've violated ignore that we've violated to the upside now we were looking for a counter trend move there uh, this was the potential flag so what we had was we've got a directional move we've got the market potentially it's very early this is going into next week could see a potential flag pattern here something like that let's go and check out the pound yen 
potential train continuation. So I'm expecting price to come and retest the closes of these candles and for it to continue lower down to this level. And if we zoom in, uh, we have started to arch, looking like we are coming lower based on the 240. Uh, this was another one where we had the AB equals CD pattern and came right into this zone. The problem is this double top that occurred right here had already hit FIB targets, the 38.2, and offered me no opportunity to get involved. However, my bias is that we're still going to be coming lower. So let's drop down the time frames. And uh, this is what interests me. We've had a move lower. We've seen a breakout pattern and we've broken again to the downside. So I'm going to be monitoring these trades here, particularly on the lower time frame for those breakout patterns. Um, I thought we had one here, but it's not looking like we're going to get it. However, pay attention to, you may get an entry in the form of a bat pattern, X to A, A to B, B to C, C, D completion, give you the opportunity to play for a retest and even an extension on that trade. Pound dollar, potential low and tight flag may not be good enough. Obviously, bigger picture, we're still looking at um, uh, the, the market moving higher there, but right now we're moving sideways here and we have not violated this level of structure. So no confirmation that we're going higher. It's dropped down to the 240. Here on the 240, I am expecting a break to the downside actually. Uh, let's just keep the wicks highlighted just here. That needs to come down a little. Did we hold structure? Yes, we did. Once, twice, three times, four times. I am expecting this level now to violate and potentially come down to this level of structure. Let's drop to the uh, 60. And here on the 60, we haven't yet come down to retest this internal level of structure. Let's go to the 15. And I was looking at this. So low and tight flag at one, two, three. We need a fourth test up here. Whether or not we get it, I don't know. If we just if we just violate here, it, it's going to be invalid. But yep, yeah, simply now going to be monitoring this from uh, violations and moves to the downside. New Zealand yen, another potential flag here in the New Zealand yen. Okay, New Zealand Yen. Um, we could be coming back down to retest our lows. This was one where I said pay attention to this falling level of structure. We could actually see a move lower. We got the lower, lower, lower close candle and we've had multiple lower, lower, lower closes now. Pay attention though to the candlestick formations. We tend, looks like they're getting smaller and we could be running out of steam. Uh, this was one where we was looking for another head and shoulders. And I said, watch for the pullback here and a chance to get short. And we never once again got the pullback, but we got the move. This level here of structure, though, pay attention to it because we have not yet come down to this internal level of structure. If we drop to the 60, it's not right. Let me do that again. Let's drop down to the 60. Uh, then we have we had a move lower a pullback and now we've just had another move lower okay so we are in trend here in the 60 with room to go lower and if we drop down to the 15 uh, this is where we could see that flag pattern so very directional move here and if we draw it out based on the closes of the candles we could see a flag pattern form one two three would be looking for the fourth test up here. Typically these turn within the wicks. Uh, the wicks for me are anywhere here. That would also come into a fib ratio 61.8. So pay close attention to that. 
uh, I would then also play for fib based targets here so swing high to swing low keep an eye out for that 127 fib look where it comes into at our level of structure with that 7100 psychological number going to be keeping a close eye on that New Zealand dollar last one last currency pair guys uh, we have been projecting a move lower and we have we are getting that move lower multiple lower low lower closes though look at the candlestick formations we are running out of steam let's go to the 240 another one where I said look out for the head and shoulders look for the violation and the pullback but we're just moving lower we didn't get the pullback again but the projection was right what are we doing right now we're moving sideways after a directional move let's go down to the 60 and this was the yeah potential low and tight flag that's what this was uh, it's a bit ugly if I'm honest but let's draw it out again so we have a swing in the market we have a directional move we have the market adhering to a trend line one two three four we did hit there five six and we back down here now might be difficult for us to get back up for another test let's make sure it's valid it's not come into any psychological numbers it hasn't come in at structure either uh, my bias is that we're still going to come lower if this is valid for you you can be looking for that 127 if you were to enter in now you'd be getting a, a reward of around 31 stops would have to go in ATR above the highs which is 7 gets you just before that 6600 psychological number so yeah, you still have a positive reward to risk uh, 26 of risk for 31 of reward that's all guys 